We're back. Big city mayors in this country aren't just the face of the city. They are the city. For better or worse, they reflect the personality and character of a big city. The ones they, they think of Rudy Giuliani and Mike Bloomberg. They were in New York when they were mayor. And D.C.'s Marion Barry at his worst and at his best when he first started. My old city, Frank Rizzo, he was the city. But in the race for the city's next mayor in New York, the New Yorkers really want their hometown to be known as Wiener City. Former U.S. Congressman Anthony Wiener is running. He resigned, by the way, in 2011, just two years ago, after accidentally, he said, sending out a loop photo of himself, that's not, that's not the lewdest, of himself, to his tens of thousands of Twitter followers. And after first claiming he'd been hacked, he later admitted he had had online relationships with several women and had sent other photos of himself, as I said, which are far less decent than that one. Now he's running for mayor, begging the question, is he in to win this thing or just to cleanse himself through the operation? MSNBC political analyst Gene Robinson would rather not talk about this as Pulitzer Prize winning columnist. For the watch, you didn't win your prize writing about this stuff. And Margie O'Meara is a real Democratic pollster and strategist who's really been in the trenches. Let's take a look at part of the web ad for Wiener's campaign and one he's running now. Look, I made some big mistakes, and I know I let a lot of people down. But I've also learned some tough lessons. I'm running for mayor because I've been fighting for the middle class and those struggling to make it my entire life. And I hope I get a second chance to work for you. New York City should be the middle class capital of the world, and I've got some ideas on how to do it. 64 of them, right on my website. Take a look, tell me what you think. We love this city, and no one will work harder to make it better than Anthony. I will fight for you every single day. Thank you for watching. Chutzpah. Just chutzpah. <laughs> but my question is, should there be a... Well, you're not going to tell me because you root for all Democrats, right? You want them to win, right? Yeah, no, I want... I mean, look, there's a strong Democratic field, and New York's going to have a Democratic mayor. And? And right now, a plura but a plurality are undecided. So it makes sense that Wiener looked at the field and said, you know, there's maybe an opportunity for me. His wife is Kahuma, who is beloved, yeah. stands behind him. That's why she's, you know, that's part of the reason she's in that video. His parents are in there. He shows his roots. Clinton has said, uh, by the way, one of the people that loves Huma has just said, we're not having anything to do with this thing. That's interesting. Huh. Nothing to do with Bill and Hillary Clinton. Your thoughts, Gene? Yeah, they're not. I find it hard to do. I grew up in a big city. One thing about big yeah. cities as opposed to rural areas, you really do identify with the mayor. It's probably the most, that and the president are the most personal decisions. You like the guy in Jersey, for example, that an old state loved Ed Koch up in New York City. He was their mayor in many ways. Rizzo in South Philly, couldn't, couldn't say a word against the guy. He was South Philly. And, and certainly some of the better mayors like uh, Menino, Mumbles, uh -huh. yeah. Tommy Menino, yeah. they love him. Mm -hmm. Can you love a wiener? Well, can you, no, really, can you love him after this? Can he be that? that no, way, he's not just there to fix the sewers yeah. or to keep the police. He is the symbol of the city. Can you do that to a guy with this recent history of exhibitionism well, and narcissism, whatever you call this well, situation? Knows, look, I, I, I would love to poll this race, right? It, the polling is going to be fascinating because who are the Wiener supporters? Who are the opponents? How does it break out by age or whatever? Here we have a sex can, handle. Can we, can, here, here we have a sex handle where there was not actual sex, okay? But, but what was there it? was. Look. There there was sexting, yeah. which is kind of a new age transgression, By the tens of an information thousands. age transgression, yeah. uh, and it'll be fascinating to see how people react. See, how the question here is not orientation, it's not people having a sex drive, which God invented, none of us did. It's this weird desire <laughs> to be known in this strange way by tens of thousands of people or lots of strangers. There's a strange impulse here, and I don't see any evidence that it's gone, except it's transforming into this desire to campaign for public office, which you got to wonder about. Are they connected, these two pastimes? Look, you can be an idiot on the Internet and still be a good man. Idiot. What do you mean by well, idiot? You know, no, what do you mean by idiot? Well, the way behavior, you know, the, I think everyone can agree. You mean a man of mental error? He, he wanted to do something else and did this by accident? No, the, you know, the way he behaved with the pictures Mistakes and so were made? On, yeah, I mean, clearly everyone agrees that was dumb, right? And he said as much. Dumb and mistakes. Is this what you mean by this? But, you, know, you, you, you don't think this tells you anything more than sort of a well, mental, a head, sort of an unforced error in baseball. You think there wasn't it's something... It's clearly an unforced error. Look, you're right. If he and he talked about that New York Times Magazine piece about wanting this attention, and if voters feel that that's a bigger driver mm -hmm. than fighting for them, then fighting for them. There's another metaphor. Submission. What do you mean by fighting for them? Well, is he is he a strong advocate for New York? But he is a strong progressive voice. He's going to add some sizzle to this. Would you race. want to he, send him to the national governor's conference, a national mayor's conference, on behalf of New York? Would you want him traveling around the country saying sure this is not. the face of New York? Sure, why not? 
Well, but here, you have but to that's, ask, you that's, the that's the question. That's the question that's going to be fascinating to see as this race develops. I frankly don't think he will win. I think Christine Quinn probably yeah. will win uh, the mayor's office. Um, but, you know, her lead isn't that big at this Plurality point, given, given her, her, her status as the front runner. You know, 25% doesn't make you that much of a front runner. So anything could happen. I think we'll just learn something about how, how people think about this particular Look, I think, I think mistake. Spin. You know what I think? I think people want to show shame in public life. When they do something really wrong like this, humiliating to not just them, but to the country that's paid attention to them, they should get out of action for a while. Go away. The garden of somewhere. Or, or do time. people I mean, see Spencer, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, we obviously don't agree or with do Spencer, people... for example, I once was, he asked me something, and I said, what you ought to do is go away for a while and, and then do some job that's not very high profile. Do something for the people for once, and maybe you can work your way back. But the shameless coming right back to the public and say, give me another chance, like we're supposed to forgive him. It's not about forgiving. It's about putting him up the pedestal of Mayor New York. That's not the same as forgiving. You can forgive a lot. I don't know why you'd forgive this. And put him on the pedestal and say, you are the person to welcome everybody to America. You're the face of New York City. Or I would find it incredible. see the Internet yeah. as, as, a, as somehow a private space, as a space with its own zone of privacy that we don't yet understand where the boundaries are <laughs> but do people see dumb stupid not dumb and stupid yes. but offensive frankly because he was sending pictures of his crotch to random women i mean do I people so. by the tens of people, thousands well do, you know do people see that well, as anyway. different from being um, say an exhibitionist in the flesh or do they see it as having nothing to do with making sure the trains are running on time and your garbage well, is you getting are picked up? You are a really good advocate. We are a very good advocate. Maybe he'll hire you to do this. Looks like you're ready. Anyway, fair enough. I agree that he's in the game. And that says a lot about us. Anyway, Eugene Robinson, Margie and Mary, thanks for coming on.